Everything you're about to see in this movie is the truth, except the parts where I lied to all those reporters. I'm a film director that you've probably never heard of. That is, unless you stay up really late most nights watching movies on cable TV. I pretty much have always labored between the frames, so to speak. I direct genre films, B-movies, action, sci-fi, thrillers, and more recently, shoestring budget disaster films. History is about to repeat itself, and if somebody doesn't do something quick, a lot of people are going to be killed. Right. Has anyone ever told you that, that you'd make a wonderful science fiction writer? I'm not making this up. Do you hear me? I'll do whatever it takes to get the word out. Now, way back in the big 80s, when I first began my film efforts, there were very few film schools, and soon after high school, it became apparent to me that jumping into the world of filmmaking in New York City or Los Angeles was going to splash me like a minnow into the ocean. So I returned to my small hometown in Vermont, pronounced myself the big fish, and started making films using whatever means I could. I bargained away my college fund from my parents to help finance my first film, and at 19, wrote and directed the now infamous feature, Time Chasers. Excuse me, General. Citizens, the Church of the Holy Hologram needs your cash now. The film actually made money and I continued to make low-budget films. Unfortunately, this way of learning how to become a filmmaker has one major pitfall. All your mistakes become immortalized in film forever. I became labeled a B-movie film director. It's kind of funny, isn't it, Jack? I don't think so. Summit Restaurant. Open since 1950. Always a smart line. Have we met? It's Will Langley with the FBI. Ah, uh, yes. Will Langley, the brilliant negotiator in Santiago who got all of those agents killed. Happily, though, the budgets on my films kept growing, and soon I was getting hired to direct movies of the week for television. This was where I met John James. John and I hit it off well. He and I did quite a few films together, although I admit to stretching our friendship a bit to get a little more production value into my films. Help! Help! But everything, our friendship, reputations, even our ethics were about to get stretched further than both of us would ever dream. John wanted to try his hand at producing, and I had a chip on my shoulder about my status as a B-movie maker. For many years, I planned on making the ultimate B-movie, a parody and tribute of sorts to the genre of B-movies. A wink, a nod, and a bit of the middle finger tilted at Hollywood. For I had noticed, as did others, that Hollywood had started making B-movies with A-list budgets, and they were slowly pushing me out of the business. The tragic odyssey that became my life while making this movie turned far more outrageous and surreal than even the whacked-out filmic hijinks I had scripted. Reality trumped John and I big time. Many have said that there is no more unbelievable story than the truth, or even simpler, you just can't make this stuff up, folks. Most people recognize me as, uh, as the character I played, Jeff Colby, for so many years, and I think that, that I'll carry that to my, my grave, Jeff Colby, but that's okay, I'm very proud of it, and I had 10 great years during the 80s, and... But uh, <clears throat> now I, I see myself as sort of wearing both hats as a producer and as an actor. He pitched me the idea of this absolutely crazy, campy, silly movie that he was bound and determined. He had that gleam in his eye that I'm making this and you're going to like it, right, Scott? And I was like, David, please don't do this. We were looking to cast this goofy blonde character and we were in a casting session and all these names came about and somehow, some way, Anna Nicole Smith just popped out of my mouth and went, <gasps> She was voluptuous, <laughs> you know, zoftic and sexy, and, you know, it was, it was pretty good casting, I guess. Her sense of humor was perfect for the, for the part. It's, a, it's an alien movie. <laughs> <laughs> Anna Nicole Smith, oh my God. Bringing her into this movie was like, um, 
It was basically like shaking hands with the devil. In the back of my mind, I was thinking, better you than me, buddy. You know, go for it. 